Thank you're you. Do, you're you're doing here. this the smart way, I think. With pantos go on for like 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing one that's the big arenas, big audiences, 10 shows in three weeks, bang, gone. Well, you know, this it, it, being in big arenas gives you an amazing chance mm. to bring out, bring out the big props. They throw mm. the kitchen sink at these, these shows. Yeah. But and you only do it, it for a handful of shows because yeah. it's so darned yeah. expensive. Well, yes. Presumably they can't do it for weeks. I don't know about that, about <laughs> the money, but I'm just saying that there are six, 7,000 kids in there mm. yeah. in these arenas. Amazing. And uh, it is the most incredible experience. I did it last year for two weeks and it was I loved it yeah. Yeah. it was uh, you know at Christmas we always want to take our kids to these special events yeah. and that's what this is and Milton playing yeah. his little sidekick I mean what's that like uh, well I haven't done it yet uh, <laughs> I am Bradley Walsh Bradley Walsh did it last year yeah. in okay. London and stuff yeah. so I'm doing it in uh, Manchester Leeds and uh, Belfast mm. so we'll find out um, Basically, I feel like I've asked my agent to get me a choc ice and he's brought me an ice cream factory. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Is there pressure? I mean, when you're the, the comedian, the go-to funny guy on yeah. these things, yeah, yeah. it's all right in a panto with, like, 800 people. That's one yeah, thing. Yeah. Six, 7,000. <sighs> yeah, mm. but uh, to be honest, that doesn't bother me. Once you get over 10 people, mm. it could be a, a million. Mm. So, uh, actually, the worst thing is doing something for your family or something for, like... A corporate with ten people. And your mum sits there, just isn't laughing. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> as as can't... My mother does most mornings, yeah. actually, on this show. But yeah. it's the only show you'll ever do that you'll get booed and feel good about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because... We, were, we were talking earlier, uh, we had that debate about uh, dwarfism. Yeah. Obviously, most pantos in Britain, in pantos, will probably have a few dwarves who mm. take part in some of the, the performances. It's never been seen as a problem. Mm. And yet, clearly, it's an issue that's beginning to rise of up. Yeah. Just earning a living yeah. out of who they are. Mm. The issue, yeah, of yeah. course, is whether other people yeah. who are of similar... Course. I don't see how... Vulnerable. There's two sides to the argument. If, if, yeah. if wrestling with, as, as they call them, average height people mm. is deemed to be entertainment mm. that people can enjoy watching, why should it be different it's like if, WWF you are, if you are a, a dwarf? Of people, I don't think it? there's any difference. Same thing. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. the same as you. I, I don't think there's any difference. Um, how much more fun is doing panto than being on Bear Grylls Celebrity Island? Oh, oh, you are a uh, shadow of the man you were. Well, I lost two and a half stone. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, this is why I'll never do that, Jean. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be amazing. Well, yeah, yeah, that's right. You haven't got this to lose, have you? It's a good diet, the Bear Grylls diet. But it's an amazing show to do, and I have to say, you know, I'm very cynical with work. Everything that I do, I feel like it's a job. Right, Before yeah. I went in, my wife was saying to me, um, oh, you don't appreciate where you live, you don't appreciate your position in life or what you've done, what you've achieved. And I, and I didn't think that was, that was right. But when I went there and I came back out again, I knew she was talk what she was talking about. Milton tempted? Yes. Yes, I am. I could lose some weight. <laughs> be handy. That would be the temptation. Yeah, yeah. Is that you clearly, I mean, you're looking fantastic. So you always do, mind you. Oh, thank you. But a two and a half stone came off. Me. That's a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you're not eating. I must have eaten that much. And you nearly lost your leg. In four weeks. That's something. Well, that, 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 was, that was way too Let's say that's gone to, to, to exaggeration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a big scratch. That could have been gangrenous. Leg. Well, it was, uh, it went poisonous. Would you ever do it again? Uh, yeah. Uh, at the time when I was there, I would say I would never do it again. Mm. But if you ask me now, I, I thought it was mm. the best four weeks of my life.